Welcome back to the Barley Lads. Today, we're drinking Dewar's White Label. This is Dewar's White Label. This is a blended scotch whiskey out of the Aberfeldy Distillery in Aberfeldy, UK. 40% or 80 proof. This is a non-age statement, but a minimum of three years. Price-wise, you should be able to find this around $20. For the mash bill, this is a blend of up to 40 different single malts and single grain whiskeys, mainly Aberfeldy single malt. So Dewar's White Label, this was founded by John Dewar's Sr. in 1846. Well, I should say Dewar's was founded by them, not the White Label. The White Label came about in, I want to say, the late 1890s. And the Dewar's name came to prominence when uh, Andrew uh, Carnegie uh, asked for a whole barrel of this to be sent to the inauguration of President Garfield. So this would be in the, I believe, the 1880s. Um, and what makes Dewar's different is because of the, the large number of uh, whiskeys that uh, end up in the barrel, you know, upwards of 40 in the single malts or grain whiskeys that are blended in it, uh, what Dewar's is known for is not only the blending of it and marrying of those whiskeys, but then they age that blend for an unknown amount of time as well to continue to marry those before they then go through the final bottling process uh, to give us the, the white label. So uh, this has been around, this specific whiskey has been around for over 120 years. It is one of the top selling scotch whiskeys in the world. I want to say it's, a, it's certainly in the top five, uh, just behind the Jack or, or sorry, Johnny Walker Red Label, which is the highest selling whiskey in the world. And Dewar's White Label is uh, not far behind. So for Dewar's, because it is a, a blended scotch, it's going to be on the sweeter side. It's going to be a somewhat light whiskey, especially at 80 proof. On the nose, a lot of sweetness. I get peach, honey, citrusy lemon. It is, it does, and it's thin. Maybe a hint of like a hay or a grass probably would from that that single malt um, oh and also because this is coming out of the Aberfeldy distillery the main component of those 40 odd whiskey blends is the Aberfeldy single malt so that's probably where you're getting some of that hay again not a lot of bite more lemon, more honey, a little bit of cereal grain, very short finish. It's not, this isn't unpleasant. Um, it's very, I'm, I don't wanna say it's bland because it does have some, it is a strong lemon flavor, but it's simple. And that's the idea, you know, you want, uh, you want this to be, uh, an easy gateway whiskey to the rest of the Dewar's line. And it's just simple and pleasant. I wouldn't I wouldn't say that this you could, you could drink this straight. There's not a lot of burn to it, um, but you could probably make some interesting cocktails with it. Maybe push more of that that lemon flavor, but it's really up to you to to take it where you want to. Thank you again for watching another episode of the Barley Lads. Today we've been talking about Dewar's White Label. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Cheers.